All right, chaps, we're back with more TTYD remake. Which means we get to see a new title screen. <laughs> That's going to be something fun about opening this game every time, is to see the new title screen that the game added. Yeah, now Flurry's on the title screen. What? Let's -a go! Wow, look at my playtime. 11 hours. I assure you, most of that is from me standing around, because I think I only actually have like 8 hours in this game. <laughs> not 11. Anyways, I'm not like half asleep this time, so I can actually, you know, get stuff done. I never did look at the tattle log for Magnus, did I? Where are the piters? Where, where's the piters at? There they are. A spidery creature that drops down a web is it can shoot out three web wads and attack consecutively. A powerful and cutting edge robot built by X Not Scientists. It has all features except expected of a robot, including rocket fists. Yeah, Mag Magnus is still pretty great. Uh, here's our recipe list. Oh yeah, you know what I didn't do? There's one thing I forgot to do before I start this chapter. I forgot to um, cook the egg. I'm gonna do that. I'm, just, I'm gonna cook that egg and get a... I think, it's just, I think you just get a fried egg. Yeah, let's cook that mystic egg. Get a free fried egg for that. Yum. Yeah, your typical, your typical fried egg, really. I don't really think there's a whole lot else I can cook, though. Yeah, I'm good. I, mean, I should probably put some of those mushrooms in storage. Or sell them. Either's fine, I guess. Wait! Oh, they actually do have fright masks now. So they do have them, they just... They're not always on display. I'm gonna put some of these in storage, or I'm gonna sell them. And sell these dizzy dials, I'm probably never going to use them. Dizzy's a pretty lame status in this game anyway, compared to TTYD. So what do I have in storage again? Oh, I have two dry shrooms. Not bad. We also have double pay in. <laughs> we got double pay in the last episode. By the way, yeah, first attack. First attack is one is, is zero BP now. It's not one anymore, so you can always have it on, which is the one of the best fucking changes, I swear. Exnos terrorizing Boggly was a withdrawing. Just what was their motive? Whatever happened to that squishy little puny guy? I miss him. So at the animal lover. <laughs> How much money do I have? A hundred. Nope, that's not gonna be enough to get the W emblem. I might be able to get the W emblem after chapter three, though, because you get a lot of money in that chapter. The game practically hands out money to you in that chapter. Like, let me, um... Let's talk to this guy first. If the flight goes to Glitzville, you'll need a ticket to travel with us. Yeah, everything looks in order. Will you be coming aboard? Then please watch your step as you step aboard. Isn't there supposed to be a star piece behind here? Hmm, maybe not. Also, they extended this area out a bit. 
Am I stupid? I swear there was a star piece behind that pipe, but maybe not. Oh, yes. I love this little area back here, where the blimp is. This scene got hyped up in the trailers. Hey look, you can see all the partners in the blimp with Mario. Chapter 3 of Blitz and Glory. Oh, Flores is looking out the window. Oh, we are flying! Yeah, he did the looking sprite again. I was like, hey, they didn't use that more in the original, but it makes so much sense here. Yeah, Glissville. What was, what's Glissville called in the Japanese version again? It's called, like, Udon Town or something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> my, 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 Glitzville. I've heard that the Glitz Pit is just full of brawny brawls. I must admit, the prospect of some hurly burly gets me a touch peek. Yay, we're finally in Glitzville, one of my favorite places in this game. <laughs> now, darling, let's find that crystal star, hmm? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, the crystal star's hidden. Might as well start looking in the biggest building here. We're gonna have to towel everybody, though. Yep, this is Glitzville. It's so exotic, it feels like we're in another country. This is like an entertainment hub that attracts visitors from all over the world. Glitz Pit is obviously the main attraction, that's where fighters duke it out. There's also the fresh juice shop and the souvenir shop, and the hot dog stand too, let's visit them all. That's Stuart, the blimp conductor, he checks tickets for blimp passengers. He's what you call the cheap cheap. Normally they don't hang out on land, but they've actually been around for quite a while in the Mario Bros series, you know. Gosh, I just broke the fourth wall there, didn't I? Sorry, just forget it. Got the Toad Sisters. That's a Toad from Glitzville. I think he works here. I don't know why, but he seems to be cheering for us. Hey, more power to ya. You see that hot dog stand over there? Best hot dog menu of all time, no joke. Hey, but you look more into fighting than hot dogs. Are you a pro? I'll root for you. We get the Shine Sprite. Way the world wandering, traveling sisters three, usually. But here in Glitzville, we're the rough and tumble, battling and traveling sisters three. <laughs> here we go with TTYD again. These, th these are the traveling sisters three. They seem to go everywhere together. They all seem inattentive. Do they even notice each place? Oh yeah, that's the same towel actually. Get the end coupon for free. Which, why is there even an inn coupon here in the first place? There's no inn here. <laughs> is, there, um, is there a star piece behind here? No? Okay. That's a super switch. Do a spin jump about it to activate it. Bonk. Battle Masters here too. Tell me secrets of battle again. Power punch in detail. Well, oh, that's a new one. Let me tell you about an item I found pretty handy. Power punch is like a tonic that boosts your attack power. It works like a dream with moves like power bounce and multi or stuff that hits multiple times. 
If you succeed a God Axe command, the enemy will do one rush damage. That's great, but also if the attack will put you to sleep or immobilize you, the God prevents that too. You get good at pressing A at just the right moment during attacks. So this is some super guard tips. Not everybody knows about this, but if you pull off a super guard, you won't take any damage from an attack. Not only that, but you also might sneak in some damage back onto the enemy. Pretty sweet, huh? Press B right when the attack hits you to get some of that sweet super god action, kiddo. Nice, good, great, etc. When you succeed at an action command, you'll pull a bunch of star power off from the crowd. The amount of star power will increase in the work in the order of nice, good, great, wonderful, and excellent. You can use the simplifier badge to make those action commands easier, but you'll get to rest star power. You can also use the unsimplifier badge to make them harder if you want a real more star power. Yeah, which I've been using since chapter 2. So what are special moves? They're the primo moves you can pick as long as you go around your victory. Let's talk about special moves Sweet Trade for example. This one restores HP and FP. It works by having you tilt your ref stick over and over to hit icons that fall from somewhere high up. The more you hit, the more HP you FP you get back. Simple. But if you hit a poison mushroom, you won't be able to move a bit, so be careful, Mario. Also, Sweet Tree will heal any statuses you and your partners have suffered, poison, or what have you. Oh, and you need star power to use those special moves, so it's best to save them for big moments. You know you get more special moves as you crack treasure stars, right, Mario? Sure you do. Did you also know your max star power goes up, too? So as you crack some more star powers, you use more special moves more often. Pretty swell, right? There's a lot of these. There's a lot of these. How about we talk about the partners? Goomba is a smart cookie and knows all about your enemies, even the HP. When you run into an enemy type for the first time, it's a good idea to have her use Tattoo on them. Her basic attack's called Head Bomb. It works like a jump, including working on not spiking guys, so be careful. Goomba can hit all the enemies on the ground with his Power Shell move. He also has that armored shell, so he rocks a defensive one, making him tougher than average. Just know that sometimes enemies attacks will flip him on his back like any Koopa. Furry's Gale Force attack has a chance of blowing away all your enemies at once. Her body shram sometimes knocks over things at the stage, which can deal extra damage to your enemies. Just be careful not to ask her to body slam a spiky enemy, it never goes well. Powering up partners. You've probably run into Murren, the guy from the power up shop in Rogueport. For free shine sprites, he'll raise you to rank one of your party members. It's a good deal, they get more HP and run another attack skill. You can find him next to Professor Frankry's house in Rogueport. A lot of these. I'll be checking these as time goes on though. Maybe I can practice some action commands. Oh yeah, I do have the spin jump. Let me try that out. Oops. I was trying to do the uh, stylish. I'm not used to the spin jump timing. Holy shit. Where's the where's the stylish? Watch the icon to time your stylish, right? Okay. There we go. I got it. I think I'm getting the hang of it now. Well, I know that's the same. Those are the same. Let's try a lip lock. Okay. Yeah, I think I got it. I think I got it. A spin jump, a Sanic reference. <laughs> Anything else, kid? No. No. 
right. We also want to go up here. Going up here is very important. You get a free power plus. Mm-hmm. Very helpful. I don't really like this Blitzville remix. I'll be honest. Bonjour, mademoiselle, and monsieur Matilda Bassache. You also come to this place. Right now, I am loopy with love for that ravishing creature over there. She's a sight to behold that I saw at first. Oh, it's that gross guy Dupree. What's he doing in Glitzville? How annoying. You don't think he's on an adventure with us, do you? That fabulous mustache. I've seen it somewhere before. I know it. Yes, Mario. That is definitely a name I've heard somewhere before. Wow, this lady's so pretty. I wonder what her name is. As far as I can tell, she's always quietly enjoying her juice in the corner alone. What is it that mysterious woman become do to become so mysterious? What a mystery. Hey there, and welcome. Our doors are always open for Thirsty Fight fans. So grab a frosty juice, take a load off, and enjoy. That's the manager of the Glitzville Fresh Juice Shop. His name's Podler. Looks a lot like fans gathered here since the Glitz Pit's so close. Oh, hey, by the way, Podler's a huge Hammer fan. He totally loves hammers. That's probably why he gives you the super hammer, actually. Today's main event rule. I'm betting on Rockhawk, no matter who's fighting him. That's a Dugan fight fan. He seems to be a totally huge Rockhawk fan. You know what I think? You know what I think, though? He mostly just wants to win his bets. Uh, you don't look very familiar. You on vacation? Me? Just a lag of two who digs on combat sports, dude. Nice meeting you. That's a Lagatu fight fan. Apparently he thinks M Prince Mush is the bomb. Prince Mush must have been a pretty big deal, sounds like. Yeah, it's too bad he's not here anymore. Here's our favorite bob -omb family. Hey, I'm hungry, I wanna eat a hot dog, and I wanna eat it right now. So this is great spell, hmm? Not a bad place if a little on the tawdry side. Perhaps I'll begin my stay here with a hostile buyer out of the hot dog stand. I find this floating city concept quite fascinating. Yes, it intrigues me. I wonder what sort of coinage one might shell out to build a vacation home here. That's Gold Bob the Bomb. He's the head of a wealthy business, Gold Bobbingtons. He's got buckets of ducats, you say? I guess some folks are just good with money. That's Sylvia the Bomb. She's super wealthy. She's got a real high society air around her. Even her perfume smells like money. That's Bob the Bomb. He's from a very rich family, so he's kind of spoiled. Still, kids are kids no matter how big their trust fund is, aren't they? My man Hoggle. Oh, a very good day to you, my very good man. You have no doubt noticed to get spills many aromas. Well, the finest of them is Mr. Hoggle's famous hot dogs. <laughs> Only ten coins apiece. May I tempt you? Yes. My hot dogs cost a mere pittance of ten coins apiece. May I tell you with more? No. Aren't they five in the original, or am I stupid? I think it, I think there's still ten. <laughs> I think I'm just dumb and I'm misremembering. That's Mr. Hoggle from the hot dog stand. He sold hot dogs for like 30 years. No he's his hot dog. No he's as hot for hot dogs as him. He's always looking for the next miracle hot dog. Anyways, his dogs are famous. Nobody comes to visit here without having one. Ice cream! I love the ice cream. This still hangs out in the clouds. I'll give you two guesses why I like it here. That's a lack of two. He's come here for the atmosphere, get it? Atmosphere? Ha! <laughs> anyway, he seems to think jokes like that beauty are totally hilarious. You read the blimp here, didn't you? Boy, I envy you. I'm dying to ride that thing, but air travel makes me yak. That's a toad from Glitzville. She really wants to travel, but she's terrified of flying. So my question is, how the heck do you think she got here? Ponder that. If I remember correctly, I think there's a panel, like, right here. Boom. Almost had it dead on. Hey, brother Luigi, how are you holding up? Oh, hi there, Mayor Vance Coop. The Mayor Pelberg has Coops. 
Huh? Who are you? Prank calls are uncool. Hi Mario, this is Punio. Stop by every now and then, will you? I think we're getting repeats now. Hi, am I the 987 3 of 4 caller? Did I win the free tickets? This is chapter 3, by the way. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, I think that's all of the phone calls. I love that little phone call machine, it's fun. All right, let's go in. Sounds more tribal. Oh, in the glitch pit. There's a guy over there who gets paid to say that, right? Boy, it's hard to find a guy that clean cut and responsible these days. Uh, I sighed just thinking about him. That's a toad girl. She's totally in love with that toad guy working here. Her crush is so powerful, even I'm getting butterflies. They'd be so cute together. Oh, the glitz pit. Here, savage battles go on in each and every day. That's a toad who works here part time. He always greets patrons like Welcome to the Glitz Pit. Love that guy. Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. That's Miss Mao as a thief. She just gets off to exotic locales to hunt for rare badges. The fact that she's here that means that the Glitz Pit must have something special. Well, here's Toodles. Well, hello there, you big hunk, burly hunk of a man. You're smashing, dear. But I'm afraid I'm only interested in the champion, Rock Hawk. Toodaloo. That's Toodles, the toad. Gosh, this woman knows how to dress. I'm so jealous. Even classy ladies like her come to watch the fights. I guess she likes tough guys. Bonk. 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 Yo, out of the way, pal. I don't do stories on nobody. Sorry. Move it or lose it. That's a local reporter. I'm pretty sure he covers the fight scene. I've always thought this dude looked like a fucking pineapple. He's such a veteran, he even directs the rookie cameraman next to him. Bonk. They even gave the fucking pineapple reporter guy more personality. Move to one side, small fry. Do the thing for my camera, shoots his famous athletes. Bonk. That's the local cameraman, he seems a little flustered. I think he's new at this and makes a lot of mistakes. Just a guess though. Hey Mr. Mustache Guy, where's Prince Mush? That kid's still small, but he's like the biggest Prince Mush fan I've ever seen. He's here with his dad. It's so cute to see kids and parents having fun. Hey, we're here because my son's a big fan of the former champ Prince Mush. But it looks like he's not around here anymore. And we came all this way just to see him. Bit of a crying shame, really. This guy's here with his son. I can't tell if he's psyched to be here with his boy, but... One way or the other, it's nice to see parents spending time with their kids. Bonk. Did <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> Sorry, bub. But unauthorized people only pass this point. Or authorized people. If you're looking to see a match, and I'll do those main doors. This guy's glitz his security. He has to keep watch on this particular area. You can tell this guy works out all the time. I bet he's buffer than the fighters. Whoa, he actually has arms. No way. <laughs> yeah, we can go on the let's go on the top floor. This is Glitz Pit Lobby. It's pretty nice, actually. Sturdily built, nice decor. And what can you say about the luxurious chandelier, except fabulous? That's a freelancer. He's always angling for the next big scoop. We better make sure this guy doesn't shoot us doing anything incriminating. Hey, how you doing, bud? I'm a freelance cameraman. I'm always after scoop. Holy fuck. Let's fucking go, dude. Whoa, totally awesome. Check it out, Mario. Someone's about to catch a beating up here. 
That's right. Oh, I think it's about time you feel the rock. Oh. Stay down, pincushion. You don't want none of this. Why'd you even show up, brother? Yeah, you hear me talking, wimpy? Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby. Tell you what, do about a million push-ups and then come sink a hunk of rock hawk. I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying home the mama again. Ooh-wee, champ. That was a great A-whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who could challenge me? No, no one can. Hear me? Ain't a fighter out there can make me sweat, brother. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take on anyone. You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Cause I'll hurt you. Yeah, number one, baby. Rockhawk's the champ. <laughs> oh. Whoa, look, Mario. There on the champ's belt. Isn't that a crystal star? Yeah, yeah, it totally is. Look at that sparkle. It's gotta be a crystal star. Why would that be in a sweaty old pit like this? What do you think we ought to do? We can't just steal that meathead's belt, can we? It stinks. What do we do? Steal that thing. Come on, Mario. Seriously, we're the good guys here. We can't do that. No, no. The way I see it, our only option is... We need to kick some tails, take some names, become the champ, win that belt, take kick some ass, take names, be like Reggie. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. So let's get busy, huh? Guess we gotta become official battlers first, right? Well, I'm kind of getting stoked about this. Let's go find out who runs this sh shinding. Oh, I'm gonna go back in here real quick. Let me tell you, fans like fighters to grandstand a bit. It's wild. That's a toad spectator. He's always cheering from a stair spot on the second floor. He probably knows a few tricks to get the audience's attention. Some of them might actually come in handy. You ever watch minor league fights? I do. Sometimes find diamonds in that rough. That's a toad spectator. She's a huge fan of one specific fighter and never misses one of their matches. She also enjoys giving nicknames to her favorite fighters, too. Oh, Mario, you should ask her for one. When I get a little older, I'm definitely going to be a pro fighter and make the loot. I'll be wearing that belt in five years, Max. I know it. I believe it. That's a Dugan spectator. He comes here every day in hopes of seeing the champion's belt. Rumor has it he hopes to earn the belt for himself in the next five years. He better be training. I know a surefire way to avoid losing in the ring. Want to hear it? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't hear that. I had some cloud in my ear. Anyway, to avoid losing, don't get in the ring. Come on, that was hilarious, wasn't it? I thought of that all on my own. That's a lack of you, spectator. He gives advice to all the Glitz Pits fighters, whether they want it or not. As you might expect, that advice is always a bit off. If you take his words to heart, prepare for a disappointment. I'm also gonna check the first floor, because that also has unique dialogue, too. But you can check this. Holy fuck, you can actually check the rankings from out here. Wow. That's fucking awesome. I didn't know you could do that. This has to be new to the remake. There's no way this is in the original. Waste him! That's a touch deck, dear. He seems like the kind of fan that comes to the Glitz Pit on the regular. Fighters go all out when they hear a dar die hard fan like this guy. He cheers with everything he's got. Yeah! Hey, sorry. Did I spit on you? I'm doing a little primal scream therapy here. Ah! That's a toad spectator. Looks like you hear a make noise no matter who's fighting. I totally get it. Screaming your head off can be cathartic, and fun is fun at any volume. <laughs> eh. Should I come out fighting or keep his guard up to see how it goes? Tough call. Trying to strategize for the fighters the absolute best, because I don't get hurt. He's the type of fan who likes to predict the winner out loud while he watches. If you're gonna make a prediction out loud, you better know who, what you're talking about. I think this guy does. Yeah, run that loser! 
Ruin that loser. Don't you always forget about your troubles when you're watching a good fight? Not really. I heard you talking, man. Awesome. That's a Lagatou spectator. He comes to the Gliss Pit every day, cheering and jeering from dawn to dusk. Looks like he's really into this match. He'd be even more excited if he could actually hear what anyone else is saying. I like all the Lagatous are deaf in here. Pretty funny. I'm glad- see, this is one example where the back sprites really, like, help make the- that Gliss Pit look better, because the back sprites actually look good there. <laughs> What's that, bub? You wanna become a fighter? Mm, well, if you're serious, you better go meet with Mr. Grubba, the promoter. <laughs> Mr. Grubba's office is just down the hallway, you can't miss it. Head on through. Wow, I love how this place looks. This is a minor league locker room. Sorry, bub, you can't go in there. This is a backstage corridor. Compared to the Glitz Pit, this is so business-like. There's security all over, so you can't just wander around wherever you want. This guy's Glitz Pit security. He has to keep watch on this particular area. You can tell this guy works out all the time. I bet he's buffer than the fighters. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, fighters only, bub. No one else is admitted. Do all of the security guys have unique dialogue or what? No, I think they all have... I think they all have the same dialogue. <laughs> this is my early locker room, bub. Sorry, can't go in there. So this is... That's Grubba's room right there. Wait, what? There's a fucking hot dog up here? That's new. That's new. There's not a hot dog there in the original. This is the champion's room. Only champion may enter. Sorry, regulations. <laughs> Alright, and these are the major league and minor league rooms that nobody ever goes into. Yo, I got a second last stand badge! Let's fucking go. Hmm. Uh, the question is, I'm gonna need more BP to put on this stuff. I guess we can take out Power Smash finally. Power Smash isn't really going to be that useful anymore. So let's put on Power Rush. There we go. Alright, let's actually go talk to Grubs. What's that? You want to be a fighter, bub? Oh, Alright, go on in. Must the Grub is just inside. entire nation of you, son. Who let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yep, that's me, Grubba. And you are one rude dude coming in without knocking. He's so j he's got a jazzy ass song. What now, an athlete, huh? You wanna be a fighter? Oh yeah. Hurry! That dude change your thing to, son. I always got time for an upper comer. Yeah, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters. All primed and rare to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now, play me straight, son. You wanna live the glamorous life of champ, don't you? No. Alright, alright, son. I hear you're coming from, loud and clear. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pokey's patoot about fancy big city ways. But I jumped in the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. And know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite. Now I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earn enough to set me for life. You read me here, son? Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. Yep, yeah, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you look back at all those small dreamers and laugh. You read me here, son? Oh. That's the spirit, chief. Yeah, let's have a little walk and talk. Come on now.
Wow. Look at this fucking room. It looks so shiny now. Hey, like this part. Just feast your eyes. Go on. This is the champion's room. Is that a sight? Deluxe. You become champ, son, and you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Ain't no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself in life and wealth and comfort awaits. Wow, look at him. <laughs> that's a that's a pretty good sprite right there. <laughs> Now, uh, here we have the Major League Locker Room. A lot of contenders here. What do you think, son, huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Total, uh, totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. Oh, uh, you know what? There's one thing that's missing already. The funny little, like, cutaway that they did in the original is missing. It just fades to black now, that's kind of lame. Now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't but wait there but world world champion. Calling your way to top and taking the belt to become champ ain't an easy thing. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't it be worth it if there were no challenge? I can see you got the fire for a two-part. You got the eye of the tiger, there. Eh? You're gonna be champ, I can just feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fighter. Okay, one other thing. You gotta sign an itty bitty contract to become a fighter. It ain't no thing. Just take a second and do your time. Just jot your name here. No. <laughs> what in the hey? You lose a taste for glory, son. Well, I can't say I understand your change of heart, but ain't nothing I can do. I like your style, though. So if you can change your mind, just come on back, you hear? Just gotta get that star piece really quick. And, uh, well, you can, have, you can tattle him, too. That's the grub of the Glitz Pit promoter. He talks a good game. A little too good. Then again, I guess promoters kind of have to be super greasy smooth talkers. Besides, it doesn't matter if he's trustworthy. We have to deal with him to be champs. I don't think... I don't think there's, um... Star Piece Pal in here. Hey, it's the future champ. So you got your nerve back up, did you, son? All right, then. How you just give me your autograph? This here contract. You signed the contract. Best thing you ever done, son. Now you're Mario. Ain't a bad handle. Still, gotta say, Pod, Lex Little Punch is a fighter's name, you get me? Let me see here. Bam! Hooey! I got it. From now on, you're gonna be the Great Gonzalez. Whoo! Ain't that a beaut? Damn, that ain't a stroke of genius. A name that good comes around once in a lifetime. Yep, everyone's suit bound before the Great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. Oh, okay. Well, now that we got business side out of the way, Jolene, could you come a minute, darling? Yes, sir. Will you wish to see me? Sure did, hon. Jolene, this is the great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take it down to the Night League locker room, all righty? Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. Okay. As you know, you're a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as to become relevant. And this place looks like a dump, as usual. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just come on log to this computer terminal here. Mr. Garbo will then decide who you match up against. You'll have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log on with A. Then pick the rank match. Well, let's talk to everybody first. Take care of yourself, man. And don't make any rookie mistakes, know what I mean? 
That's King K, a fighter. His shell's yellow, but I think he's just a basic Koopa. He seems like a genuinely good guy, Mario. Plus, I dig the way he talks. If you have any questions, feel free to BOOM ask me. I outrank you after all BOOM. That's Master Crash, the bob -omb. He gives really good advice most of the time. Isn't it like so totally nice to have a mentor who cares about you? That's Kleftor. He might sound like a bit gruff. But I think he's actually nicer than he sounds, you know? Maybe he's just a little shy. Ah, mustache fighter! Hehe, <laughs> I do believe I'll go out for my regular stroll soon. That's Bandy Andy. He's a competitor in this league, but he's never here. Maybe he just doesn't care about being champion. There's something behind this locker. Use the terminal now. Don't you understand basic instruction, Mr. Gonzalez? That's Grubba's manager, Jolene. She seems really focused on her job. She's also a bit concise and impersonal and rude. I'm just gonna say it. Oh my god, it makes a fucking GBA sound. That's amazing. Here, we can view the rankings again. You didn't know this now, but your current rank is 20th, the very lowest rank. Now select the ranking match. Alright. Well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to get your fist dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle's gonna be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mob them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get everybody fired up, though, so peel on the crowd at least once. You got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, pard. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Playing's pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's HP to zero first wins. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubba sets fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you lose the match or don't satisfy the condition, your rank will stay the same. If you can get your rank up to 11th, you'll get a shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. You understand all that? Yes! Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. Bonk. 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 Mr. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Okay, security is here to escort you to the ring. Try to get completely destroyed out there. Bonk. Bonk. Thumbs up! Actually, the thumbs up is even better than the original for this. Holy fuck! This presentation. Spared off next, folks, are the meteorite hotheads, the Goomba Bros. Actually, wait, I got a great idea for this. And a newcomer with a hanker for hammering, the great Gonzalez. The Goomba Bros have been waiting again, all head up for the fight. Let's check in. How do, Goomba Bros? How y'all feeling today? You ready for this fight? Heh, you kidding, man? We're always ready to bonk a fool or two. Who is this Gonzalez rookie? Cocky idiot, that's who. Wing just makes us mad. We're gonna teach this tardy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him now, just to save time later. It's a me! Hot diggity dang, fight fans! There's the Greg Gonzalez right now, striding on up! I tell you, this rookie's got some guts. Strolled up late like he owns the place. Whew. Okay now, Gonzalez, listen up. Let me just explain the rules of the match real quick. Have a bonk, punk. Oh no! You super guarded, bitch. Hey, those total cowards. Those chickens attacked us where the bell rang. Oh, that's it. Come on, we aren't losing the punks like them. Let's waste them. Oh, let me listen to this music. Ah, quit crying, will ya? That was a little welcome gift for the Ricky. Where's our thank you? Kill the crowd at least once.
doesn't even sound like the original battle theme anymore, and that's great, honestly. So yeah, you can appeal with Goombella. You still got the one star point for winning. Well, what's my uh, what's my hotkey for the it's uh, right and left control? Oh, the great Gonzalez wins. Tell me, son, what was the first taste of victory like? <laughs> eh, it was okay, I guess. Mm -hmm. Listen to this guy. He's like a poet of the arena. I'll tell you what I just saw, folks. A whooping. This kid's got skills. We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear from him, folks. Yeah, the great Gonzalez. Woo! Not too shy for a first fight, Gonzalez. You got some promise. Anyways, I'll be heading out now. Go get your fight money from Jolene. Here's your fight money of five coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah, you get five coins. Your rank went up because you met the conditions. The next fight will not be set up until you select ranked match on the terminal. You can also check your current ranking on the terminal screen. Feel free to do whatever you like until your next fight. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. Yo, Rook, how was your first fight? I'm King K, just a Bush League scrub like you, dog. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? This guy is here is Mr. Crash. Nice to meet you, bomb. Well, now that we, now that we got to know each other, I'll give you advice, bomb. As Miss Jolene was saying, you better bomb obey Mr. Grubba's conditions. If you can't clear the conditions to win, your rank won't go up even if you win the match. Boom! Yeah, my, mean, my man has, you know, some quirky speech going on, but his advice holds up most of the time. Doesn't he say, like, doesn't he originally say, like, he's got, like, a speech impediment or something? <laughs> I don't remember. Not just sometimes. Boom! Advice is always useful. Boom, boom! Right, man, whatever. Anyway, this lean machine over here is Bandy Andy. Eh, hey, nice to meet you. I'm not in here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh yeah, if you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like the cushy bed in the champ's room, though. It doesn't refill really star power. Why would you know what star power is? Okay, cool. See, this last guy with the sweet purple kicks snow is Kleptor. Ah, Kleptor don't like to make us defend with mustache. He's the cleft man. He's the friendliest guy, but you get used to him. Anyway, that's the Cold Minor League crew, dog. You need something? Ask us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You and me gonna have to swear off eventually. So good luck, man. It's the Minor League locker room. It's kind of a uh, well. It's pretty disgusting. It's totally different from the first room they showed. The old bait and switch. You think they'd make it totally gross? The fighters will try harder to advance. That jump of yours is totally insane, Double G Money. You have mad timing. I'm always looking for the best fight, boom, boom. Way to blow myself up in the ring. You see, Gonzalez, as a fighter, you can't forget to entertain the crowd, boom. Bonk. Ah, no closer. <laughs> I do believe I'll go out for my regular still soon. Yes! Exhibition match? What is that? All fighters wishing to take an exhibition match must fierce hear an explanation of the rules. For exhibition matches, fighters can choose their opponent when receiving a match. The ranking is not affected when you take part. There are also no promoter requests. Otherwise, they will re Really? This is new. Oh, you can fight people you've already fought before. Hello, boring man. Ranked match. 
Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Let's fix it for a fight, eh? Okay, then. Your next opponent will be ranked 18 in the Glitz Pit, the KP Coopers. Now, listen here, son. In this battle, I want you to avoid using any items. Empty them pockets. Real men don't need no trinkets to help them hand out a proper whooping, you hear? Now, get in there and knock some heads the old-fashioned way, will ya? Hey, it looks like your next match against me. Good luck, man. To the both of us. Oh, this is gonna be hype. I mean, chapter 3 is one of my favorite chapters next to chapter 4 and maybe chapter 8. So, this is gonna be... It's gonna be fun. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Shell Machines of Doom. Yep, a fight to the finish with the KP Koopas. Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. Meet my peeps, Gonzalez. I told you we were gonna square off. Now it's on. Get yourselves ready to battle! Yeah. Don't use items. Now we really need to tell these guys because they are not in the pit. So, we need to get them now. That's a KP Koopa. It's a Koopa Troop of a slightly different color. Max H is 4, attack is 2, defense is 1. Looks like his abilities are just any Koopa. He ought to be a piece of cake. Don't go easy just because you know King K, Mario. That's what friends are for. Wahoo! Yeah, super guard. Did I actually put on simple fire? <laughs> or am I just getting that good at the super guards? That's a KP paratrooper. It's a Koopa paratrooper, a different color. Its attacks are the same as your average garden variety Koopa paratrooper. So just do the same things you always do. Stomp on it, flip it, and draw its defense to zero. My head up pretty effective against it too. Come on, let's get him. Bingo! Oh. Oops. I can tell this chapter is going to be very fun. And we're going to get a BP level up soon. We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez! See, no biggie. Here's your fight money of six coins, Mr. Gonzalez. I actually prefer... I actually prefer that, um... She just says, like, here's, here's five bucks or whatever, here's six bucks. Instead of her giving you it, and it says, like, you got six coins. Hey, way to add out a beat down out there, man. You beat me straight up. Could swing the other way next time, though, you know what I'm saying? You seen the three super fine ladies out there in front? You should go talk to them, man. Get some digits. You always follow the conditions boom, set by the promoter. If you don't, your rank boom, won't go up. Ah, so that is all mustache got. If I remember correctly, I think Bandy Andy's like out here. He's always there investigating stuff. Who knows if it'll help us, but I'm sure he's got plenty of info to share. Hey there, Gonzalez. How's it going? Me? I'm doing a little research. Hey, speaking of which, ever heard of the Seven Wonders at the Glitz Pit? No! Yeah, this place has rumors and secrets and spades, but the Seven Wonders at the Glitz Pit are the most mysterious of the bunch. These things fascinate me, so I wander around them doing research on them. Well, so how about it? Want to hear about the Seven Wonders or not? They say there's a sealed wall in the Maya Lee locker room. Some say the remains of fallen athletes are stored in there. 
They say in one of the arena's bathrooms, a maddening toilet lurks. Some say that anyone who sees this toilet never sees anything again. They say there's a room in the glitz pit with a second floor, but no stairs. They say no one has ever gone upstairs. And some say that groaning voice sometimes come from the second floor. I love this- I love this bit of lore that he just drops casually. They say the champion's room is haunted. Some say if you keep still in the room, you'll hear voices whispering from nowhere. Some even say the voices are athletes who lost the champion. My friend's friend's friend told me this one. He said he saw a strange light leaking under the ring doors when no one was there. He couldn't see inside since the doors were locked. I plan to investigate this myself. They say sometimes fighters disappear for no reason, never to return. Some say the very first champion, Prince Mush, was to be spirited away in this way. And, uh, grab on Jolene. Grub is a strange one. His body is incredibly toned even though he's past 60. He must have an exceptional training regimen. Then there's the matter of Miss Jolene. They say she suddenly vanishes at times. Some say fighter saw her go in the bathroom and wait for her to come out, but she never did. Huh? You think it's stranger that someone st staked out her bathroom? Good point. So that's, uh, that's Bandy Andy's lore. <laughs> you know, it's possible that Seven Mundras are just gossip and rumors. But I gotta tell you, I think they're real, and they're real sketchy. I smell a rat behind all this, and someday, I'll solve all these mysteries. Yeah, if you ever want to hear more about this stuff, just say I'm a word, okay? So I think that's everything we can do. Alright, ranked match again. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fix it for a fight, eh? Okay, then your next opponent will be rank 17 in the Glitz Pit, the Pokey Triplets. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to use at least one special move, okay? Crowd needs something flashy to catch my drift. Give him a good show. Now get in there and blow the roof off, son. Yeah, we're going to be using Goombell a lot. This is so that we can, uh, you know, so that we can... You know, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. We need to tattle a lot. <laughs> That's why. Also, I think we're about to get our first level up here. For our next battle, we got the Burstless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Spike Terror Triplets. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Pokey Triplets. We are gonna lose the likes of you. Go ahead, touch us. It won't hurt. Too much. Get yourselves ready to battle! Use a special move at least once. Well, that should be easy. I'm gonna tile these mofos then. That's a pokey. It's a cactus ghoul that got nasty spines all over its body. Look at those spines. Those would totally hurt if you stomp on it. You'll regret it. Pokies attack by lobbing parts of their bodies and by charging at you. They can even call in friends for help, so be quick about taking them out. Alright, so the easiest thing here to do is just be the Earth Tremor. I do feel like they made Earth Tremor easier. Bitch. Yeah. Woohoo! Alright, BP again, because <laughs> I can't stop.
They get seven bucks next. You know what, actually, I'm gonna do something real quick. I wanna do some math. <laughs> so let's see. How much money do you approximately get from the Glitz Pit? I want to say you probably get like somewhere between 150 and 200 coins, which is a lot. Hey, what's cracking, G man? Did you just finish beating down some poor fools or what? You look good, man. The old King K would mind a little bit of your luck. Yeah, that'd be nice. Get in there, you. How many times do I have to tell you? That room is absolutely off limits. If you want to remain on our fight, Rasha, you must follow the rules. And don't think I haven't noticed you following me. Stop that too, it's creepy. Who's the boring man? Apparently me. If you don't obey the rules, we'll ban you from the glitz pit, understood? Again, dude, man, you just a mag for trouble, dude. <laughs> Sigh, King K. Didn't mean to bring the, gru the rules queen in here. No, her name is- her name's Queen Nag. What happened to Nag Queen, bro? I don't sweat it, be money. Jolene could take that toot and shove it up her nose. Why are you always chasing that girl anyway, man? Yeah, you know, no particular reason. Now, if you folks are part of me, I must be off. <laughs> he just leaves. You know that cute little toad is working part-time gig in the lobby? I think the lady's got a little crush on me. Every time I walk past her, she's swooning, dog. You should always adjust your badges and partners according to your fall. Boom! <laughs> and do I really need to <laughs> mention napping to heal your <laughs> HP and FP? Ah, mustache is not bad. Well, boy, Hatter Gonzalez, fix it for a fight, eh? Okay, then your next opponent will be rank 16 in the Glitz Pit, the Dead Bones. Now, listen to this site. In this battle, be sure to use a partner skill at least once. The crowd loves a tag team, and they want to see your partner show their stuff, too. Now, get in there and put your partner to work. All right, we can use Coops for this one. Anything in the lockers, by the way? Never checked. <laughs> Oh, there's a dizzy dial in there. So there is something in there. Ball. Thumbs up. For our next battle, we got the Mercy Executioner, the Great Gonzalez. And the bone banging rockers, yet a fight to the finish with the dead bones. I'll try not to get in your way, Mario. We're gonna take the scale of your bones. Get yourselves ready to battle! Use a partner move at least once. Gotcha, bitch. Nine coins. I swear they increased the coin count in this game. Man, I heard you just knock some blocks off. Not bad, Double G, man. You're the real deal. The realest I've ever seen. Keep busting ads. And if anyone gives you lip, you just tell them King K said to back it up. Bazow. Oh, it hurts. Keep quiet. My foot. You're fine. Just shut up. Apply pressure right there. Oh. Do we have a gag, maybe? Come on, get a rip, will you? Mommy. Out of the way up there. Whoa, 
Sounds like some poor sucker just sent himself to a trip to the hospital, dude. Hey man, this is a brutal spot. Sometimes, you know, this place stuff happens. Hey man, it's see you later, but your hammer rocks, man. Think I need a weapon too. Nah, I can't case Pasta knows the deal. I'm all about toting this bar and the ultimate weapon, man. If I change up now, my mate, my fans would just call me a sellout. Know what I mean? Teamwork's important. Boom! The match is not just for your personal glory. Boom! If you want to win, you need to know how <laughs> your partner fights. Ah, mustache is okay. I love how his opinion slowly changes the, the further you get in. Ranked 15 in the Glitz Pit, Spike Storm. This is in this battle. I want you to avoid using them there flower points. Yeah, you heard me. Let's see how you do without none of them fancy pants moves. Now get in there and show me something, son. Alright, well, this one might this one might drag a little bit. Thumbs up. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Midnight Spike Bombers. Yep, a fight to the finish with Spike Storm. I gotta spike bomb you into submission, punks. Get yourselves ready to battle! No FP, huh? That's a spiny, basically a spike covered Koopa. Ugh, looks painful. Max HP is 3, attack is 3, and defense is 3. These things have such high defense that you can't even hurt them when they roll up. So when they go back to normal, do all the damage you can and do it quickly. If you flip them over, their defense drops to 0. That's the time I take them out. Jumping on them is just plain stupid, so try using a pat walk or some other item. What items did I have? I guess I do have an Ice Storm. I'll probably use that then. Hello! Yeah! Well, those guys both rolled up, so we're kinda fucked right now. That's a Lakitu. It's a member of the Koopa Clan that rides on clouds. It attacks by throwing spiny eggs. If you stomp on it when it's holding up a spiny egg, you'll take damage, so don't do it. Spiny eggs slowly hatch into spiny, so beat the Lakitu before fighting the spinies. This fuck doesn't answer my real question. Where does he keep all those spiny eggs? Oh, I didn't super guard that time. Alright, now we can win the fight. Yeah! Don't use FP. <laughs> Complete. I mean, I won't lie. Chapter 3 might be a two-parter. Because it is a really long chapter. Because <laughs> of all the battles that you have to do. Pretty wild stuff, honestly. I could probably get to, like, the Armored Harriers and then make a split it up, you know? Hey man, check this, I had the hot dog stand outside to get a new menu item, they use a Mystic Egg! Do you know their hot dogs can restore your HP and FP during a match? That's some serious nutrition. I'm not sponsored yet. Just excited about some probably amazing hot dogs. You ought to snack out on one. The way things are going, I just don't feel like I got it anymore. Know what I mean? 
Using items correctly is very important too. Boom! You can buy items at the store outside the glitz pit, so take boom a look. Don't boom. Get got the coin? You can always earn some through the exp exhibition matches. Ah, mustache is good. This is where we unlock the uh, the Yoshi egg. I think it is. Wow. Ha 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 ha! Everyone wants a piece of the rock. It's a tough life. Here's a little free advice. Try to be me. Yeah, cause everyone loves to rock. Ah, the champ Rockhawk. He sure has the star quality you expect from a champ. But you know what? Who cares? Everyone knows we're gonna be the next champions. Alright, you know what? We're gonna do something thin me. Move aside, you wanna be? My camera settings can't process minor leaguers. Oh, the Greek Gonzales? You're a minor league and your name is great? <laughs> Killing everybody, yeah! <laughs> hey you, that ain't cool. Don't beat on my fans just cause you ain't got none. Yeah, that's, that's a funny little easter egg you can do. Look in the glitz pit, there's a guy who gets paid to say that. Sometimes he mixes it up and says it all weird and funny. I think that's so cute. Uh, I started just thinking about him. Well, well, yeah, Mr. Mustache. So you're a fighter now, hmm? Well, I suppose I'll cheer you on from the shadows, my sweet. Well, hello there, you great beefy bull of a man, you. You're wonderful, dear. But I'm afraid the only man is for me that's a champion. The hirsute Rockhawk. Which, I mean, the minimum requirement to date me is a champion spell, you poor thing. You're the great, great Gonzalez, right? I'm a huge fan, man. Go right in. Yeah, the dialogue of, like, the people in the ring changes depending on, like, what rank you are. It's pretty neat. Not something I really paid too much attention to, but yeah. This is the glitz pit itself. That's the ring in the middle. That's where all the magic happens. By magic, I mean brutal beatdowns. I think these are the same. No, stop that at once. The behavior is unacceptable in the food stuff. I insist you desist. No, please come back to me. Someone help! My red imported egg has escaped! Please catch it! Oh! Absolutely unacceptable in a polite society! I insist you come down at once, egg. How am I to reach up you there? Fly like a common sparrow? Wow, that is like that line. That dialogue was completely changed. Okay, that's the same. That's the same. Bonk. No, oh, so unfair. This stinks. I really, really wanted to eat that super whatever dog. Where else can I get one? Daddy, get me one. Well, I've done it. Now I'm official sponsor of the Glitz Pit. Simply marvelous. But what do I do with the skies of cash as a little import? Best of luck to you, Saw. This is the first time in my life I've witnessed combat sports firsthand. How repugnant. Boorish ogres grappling about. Cater walling. I find it utterly barbarous. I made a couple of quick coins the other day helping the juice shop guy fix his roof. But I saw the weirdest design I ever up there. It was this arrow-like thing. But anyway, I bet you know, but I did a spin jump on that blue switch on the side of the bar to get up there. He did a spin jump. 
Play those major league matches, just get us so energized. Our knuckles get white or our hearts start pounding, and we snack like no tomorrow. Uh, I wonder what flower that beautiful young woman likes. She's like a ravishing but don't even rose, eh? If I'm not careful, I may get cut. Red Smush, the first Glitz Pit champion, the fire long since lost. He's shown truly and brightly. Many fans still hope that he may dramatically return. Of course, I'm one of them. I long to see the poetry of his pure fighting style. Hey then, welcome. My doors are always open. It's a bit out of the blue, but I wouldn't really mind being the strongest fighter guy alive. I mean, sure, every guy dreams that once in a while, but the thing is, I once. Oh wait, never mind. Good luck out there. Hey Gonzalez, what's up? Go knock yourself out, man. You wanna know something? That Rockhawk's actually a total coward, dude. I heard this rumor that he rigged his fight with Prince Mush to make him withdraw. You know how they say the sun hides behind the clouds? This sun does that too. Unless I cure my air sickness, I'll be stuck here forever. I have to find a way. Yeah, I never did check out the shop yet. Let me do that. This is where you can buy point swaps. Why are point swaps red and orange now? That's weird. Anyway, buying one. Uh, I can store the end coupon, I guess. Honestly, though, it's probably better just to sell the end coupon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's probably for the best. You know what? Let's listen to the original version <laughs> for a little bit. I don't know why, the original version is just way better here. Huh, did you hear that, Mario? You don't want to be eating, little Eggy Wiggy? So adorable. What should we do, Mario? Should we help? Let there be hot dogs! Come on, Mario, that's just tasteless. Seriously, don't scare the little guy. Try to be so childish, will you? Mr. Hot Dog Stand Guy, it looks like this egg doesn't want to be eaten. It's okay to let it go, right? Oh, very well, fine. I suppose there's not much market for cuisine that jumps anyway. Awesome! Did you hear that, little eggy wiggy? You're free. See you around. Huh? What is it now, eggy? You want to follow us? Is that it? Pretty sure our little buddy here wants to hang out with us. Do we let it? Okay. You hear that, little guy? Just make sure not to get in our way, okay? <laughs> Yeah, I love this song. You guys say anything different, anything different now? No, I think these guys are the same. Well, boy, how to Gonzalez fix it for a fight, eh? Okay, then, your next opponent will be rank 14 in the Glitz Pit, the Handed Overs. Now, listen, son, in this battle, I want you to let yourself get damaged at least three times, okay? It's just so damn boring when a match is too one side, you hear what I'm saying? Now, get in there and kick some behind. Okay, well, we'll see how this goes, I guess. Meow, <laughs> meow, meow, meow. 
Okay, but I do want to hear more of that awesome battle music, so I will turn it off. Just, just is nice to hear the, uh, the normal battle music for once. For our next battle, we got the merciless executioner, the great Gonzalez, and the grim death burglars. Yep, a fight to the finish with the hand it overs. <laughs> We're awful quick, awful agile, and just plain awful. Get yourselves ready to battle! All oh, these bandits are about to throw hands. All right, let me do a, let me try a spin jump. Yeah, take that. All right, we're gonna tattle these fools. That's a bandit. This scumbag tries to bump at you and grab coins, jerk. If you time your guard well when he attacks, you won't be able to steal anything. Plus, the look on a bandit's face when you guard successfully is priceless. If a bandit steals coins from you, defeat him before you flee to get your coins back. Hmm. Actually, I do need to see that in action. Do you actually get your Moon Knee back? Oh, you do? Wow, so it works like- it works like Paper Mario 64 now. Thank god. That's a big bandit. Basically a boss among ordinary bandits. Unlike other bandits, he'll steal your items as well as your coins. Totally weak. If you guard well when he charges at you, he'll blow by without stealing anything. If he robs you, you won't get your items back unless you beat him right away. He'll run. <laughs> what are you doing, Mr. Shy Guy? Wow. Oh, okay. All the punies ran away. Oh my god, Merlovely! Or no, Merly. It's the first time he's seen that. Plus three attack. Dude, I can kill them now. Yeah! That was hype. Dude, that was fucking sick. What I just did there. Ten bucks. Who needs exhibition matches, man? You get way more money in this game anyways. Do you hear the latest G-Man? My boy said they saw a stunning babe having a juice at the fresh juice shop. She likes juice. I like juice. We already have so much in common, dog. Check her out from me, man. Egg. I tell you, man, with all the young talent like you coming up in the ranks, I just keep feeling old and old to get what I mean. King K ain't getting younger. Well, the promoter's condition is not easy, but it's boom, the only way up. So act like a professional and you'll be on your way up and BOOM! No time. Ah, mustache must work out. I sleep. Real shit. Well, boy, hi to Gonzalez. Your next opponent will be rank 13 in the Glitz Pit, the Mind Bogglers. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using them their special moves. I think the crowd is craving a nice long battle at its simplest and finest. Now get in there and don't go grandstanding. Alright, I'm gonna use Flurry on this one. up
For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzales, and the Grey Entanglers. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Mind Bogglers. Here we go, darling. Time to shine. The bad of being snared, mystified, and devoured. Get yourselves ready to battle! About to see if, um... <laughs> We're about to see if, um... Gale Force will work in this fight. There we go. Okay. Good, it works. Why, that was no fuss whatsoever. Twelve bucks. Man, I'm already so fucking rich. Listen, man, keep it on your hat, but I'm thinking about retiring soon. If I stay any longer, well, my future might get shorter, you know. So after the next match, I'm gone. It ain't cool quit and run, that's for sure. But you know what? That's life, Double G, man. Listen, you stay cool, okay? Promise you won't forget you once knew King K. It's all the way stinks that we won't be hanging out together no more, but... Hey, that's life, you know, G, man? Even if you're not feeling your best, you must put on a boom boom good show. It's hard when you're not into it, but that's what being a boom pro is about. Ah, mustache got game. Welcome to the exalt match. Well, boy, Hattie Gonzalez. Next fight is gonna be rank 12 in the glitz pit, the punk rocks. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using your hammer. Not even once, son. I want to see how you do when you ain't got something to beat your fellow with. Now get in there and let's see some acrobatifying. Ah, uh, the one battle that I would have actually really liked to use my hammer on, but sadly can't do that. I've been so busy with TGYD, I have not literally done anything else. No other streams of any other games. No Sailor Moon. Nothing. I haven't done anything. <laughs> For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Green Torture Squad. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Punk Rocks. Come on, Mario. Let's get this over with. This not take long. This end in pain for mustache. Get yourselves ready to battle! So no hammer, huh? Don't use your hammer. It has a hyper bald cleft. It like clefts and bald clefts. This is also a rock monster. Next HP is 3, attack is 2, defense is 2. This hyper version can build up his energy, boosting his attack to 8 on their next turn. It has low HP, but its bot is rock hard and parries to fire, making it super tough. It says here that item attacks are pretty effective. Beat it before it goes hyper. Actually, I do want to see the hyper animation, so you know what? We'll do that. Ooh, that looks nice. It's like a weird bubble effect. Alright, well, I do have an earthquake. Boom. Yeah, ironically, I think Chapter 3 is probably, like, the longest chapter in the game on repeat playthroughs. Because there's just so many battles you have to do, and battles take the longest out of anything. Developing a reliable style is good, but don't forget to try new things. Boom! 
That's the way you make new discoveries and really grows a bomb fighter. <coughs> and I burped. Ah, Klefto can't think of criticism for mustache. Alright, is this the ball bomb squad? Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Ranked 11 in the Glitz Pit, the Bob Arm Squad. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to wrap it up in five turns or less. I got a date with a, the best gal in just a few, and I don't want to be late. Oh, he doesn't say I got like a hot chickadee anymore. Now get in there and bring this puppy home quick. Uh, there's, there's some more censorship for you, I guess. <laughs> Alright, well this should be relatively easy. I mean, I could do something funny. I could try and super guard the bomb attacks. You know what? That would be more interesting, actually. Let's do that. For the next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Big Bomb Bombers. Yet, yeah, I fight to the finish with the Bomb Arm Squad. Where we go, Gonzalez? Boom! <laughs> I have advice, just give up now. <laughs> Get yourselves ready to battle! That's never gonna get old, I swear. When in five turns or fewer. Alright, so here's a funny idea. Food the idea, we're gonna tattle. And we're gonna quake, and then we're gonna let them all explode. That's a bomb. -omb. It attacks like blowing itself up. Yeah, real smart. A bomb, will, a bomb will get totally mad if you damage it. They have like super short fuses. When it gets mad, it'll charge and explode on its next turn. That attack really hurts. Oh, and if it's mad, it'll blow with the slightest contact, so don't attack directly. Attack it from a step away with a hammer, or hit it with something hard like a shell. You know what, let's, do, let's, let's make this fight more interesting. Got it. Got it again. I got two out of the four super guards. <laughs> oh, that was that felt nice too. Yeah, that that was definitely satisfying. I liked that. <laughs> It's quite lonely without King Kang around. Boom! No lonely. Him too weak. Now him not here. Sounds normal to Kleftor. You're in Ma Boom! Denial, Kleftor. I saw you weeping in that locker. Boom! Oh. I hear Sir Swoop. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course. You just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. Boos. When you're ready to fight, you just log on this computer terminal here. Mr. Go will then decide who you'll match up against. You'll have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log on with A. Then pick ranked match. Use the terminal now. Don't you understand basic instructions, Sir Swoop? Well, howdy, Sir Swoop. Ready to get your wings dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle is going to be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them, they'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? <laughs> Audio, here. Audio here. Hey, we want to get the crowd fired up, so do a, do a move where you do a triple flip and meow. You got any questions about get about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, pod. Okay, your battle's reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting's pretty basic. The team just drops the opponent's HP to zero and wins. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grouse sets sight conditions, follow him. In this case, the conditions to do a triple flip and then meow. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, your rank goes up, and you battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you can get your rank up to 11th, you'll get a shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know now. Did you understand all that? Okay, good. For, for now, just wait until security comes to get you, Sir Swoop. Um, hi guys. Uh, yeah, my name's Soup. Sir Swoop, I mean, nice to meet you.
Yo, yes, you, Sir Swoop. Time for your battle, bub. Follow me. Okay, security's here to escort you to the ring. I'm trying not to get completely destroyed out there. Teamwork is important. Boom! The match is not just for your personal glory. Boom! If you want to win, you need to know how boom your partner fights. Ah, I have to admit this mustache is strong. Well, dog, my cash. If it ain't the great Gonzalez, thanks for fight, eh? <laughs> Who we? You're gonna love this. Your next opponent is. Rank 10 in the Glitz Pit, the Iron Adonis Twins. That's right, you're dying to and you're finally gonna make a go at the Major League, son. We well, expected great things from you, so don't go letting us down now. Now listen, son, in this battle, be sure to use a partner here at least once. The crowd loves a tag team, they want to see your partner show their stuff too. Now get in there and put your partner to work. Meow, take a fucking dumb. <laughs> And now, today's main event, the Major League awaits the 11th ranked Great Gonzalez. But only if he can beat the 10th ranked powerhouses, the Ionathonis Twins. First, let's get the merciless execution in here, folks. The Great Gonzalez! Gonzalez, kick their right tails, don't you lose, dude? Love that mustache. Jong Xena stage. Hooey! The Great Gonzalez, how you feeling? Just perfect, thanks. Oh, yeah. Whoa, Nelly, you heard the fellow folks. He's obviously itching to mix it up some. Good gravy. Iron him out. Where a spice legal? <laughs> Your challenger is real confident, boys. Yep, he's talking trash. Iron Adonis twins, he said? More like paper dog face bros, and they stink. And then he said, I bet they just play video games and cry when they lose. And yeah, and then he said, how do belly buttons run in their family? Stink wads. And so on. Yep. What? How does he know Bob has an outtake, that jerk? We're gonna blend you up into a smoothie, pal, and then we'll go in the drink ya. Yeah. Oh, and one more thing. Only smelly stinkwads cut other people's stinkwads. Understand, stinkwad? Shimmer down there, bro. You stinkwad. You're gonna regret opening your yap, pal. See those bonds? Solid iron. See these spikes? Yeah, they penetrate any substance. So basically what I'm telling you is that whatever you try will be completely useless. Think that over there in the very short time you have left with the functional brain. Get yourselves ready to battle! We're gonna do it! We make Major League if we win! Get psyched, Mario! <laughs> Give up now! Well, Stink Wads, you better learn our skills the hard way! Use a partner move at least once. Alright, bet. That's an iron cleft. That guy is scary, period. Max HP is 6, attack is 4, and defense is unknown. What's with this book? It says no attack will work against clefts. It says nothing in the world is hard as an iron cleft, so its defense is impenetrable. If that's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with the other one. Running weight might not be a bad idea at this point. Oh yeah. For some reason, both of the clefts are like different tattles. I don't know why. Oh, okay. I might need to actually guard this. <laughs> so I can actually tattle them. That's an iron cleft. The green shoes mean this one must be the younger brother. Let's wet this book. It says no attack will work. Okay. 
So yeah, for some reason, the Iron Class have different tattles. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, I'm just stalling at this point. I'm just flexing my super guards. Quake Hammer. Guys, help. I can't stop getting the super guard. <laughs> okay, there we go. I fucked it up, finally. Oh, and I have last stand, so I won't die as, as early. Okay, there we go. We got ourselves a winner! The Iron Adonis Twins! <laughs> How'd you like that? We tried to tell you, but no! If you want another piece of bumble pie, have a bath and come on back, punk! Your rank will reign at 11 because you lost the match. Hey, check it out! Our little Eggy friend's gone! Didn't see that coming. Or going, for that matter. Where do you think it went? Yo! Gonzalez! Check me out! Thanks to you, I have Shaven Sam! Thanks, man! Whoa! What? You were in that cute little Eggy Waggy? Whoa, that's wild. Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be champs, right? You want a crystal star? Anyway, I gotta repay you for saving me from old Hoggle out there, so I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I'll swallow any opponent whole honest. Just leave it to me. Huh? My name? Let's see. I just came out of that nakes, so I guess I don't have a name yet. You seem fired out about it, so why don't you give me one? Make it cool, okay? Okay, I actually got to name the Yoshi. Um, let's see what kind of bullshit I can call him. Hmm, let's see. <laughs> I, could call, I could call him Picto Chat. I'll call him uh, Playcoin We. Yeah, we'll call him that. <laughs> it actually shows up in the game? <laughs> wow, I, I was not expecting that. What the fuck? Not too bad, dude. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Hey, Gonzalez, let's get out of here and do some damage. <laughs> the Yoshi is now your friend. He'll answer to play Queen Wii. <laughs> Stairs. <laughs> what the fuck? This stream's gonna get taken down now. No, Yoshi's a Billy Primer. Ride the Yoshi. Yoshi will move much faster. Well, you'll move much faster with Yoshi. Try moving around. While halt jumping, hold A to float through the air for a brief time. Use his ability to cross otherwise impossible gaps. You can stop riding Yoshi by pressing X. That includes his prime, do you feel like you've mastered Yoshi's abilities? Yeah! In battle, he can repeatedly bounce on enemies using his ground pound move, or use gulp to inhale enemies whole and spit them out for massive damage. Yay, we got the Yoshi! Sadly, I didn't get any of the cool colors, though, for the Yoshi, so that kind of stinks. Oh well. Okay, well, let's do it then. Actually, I'm curious about something. What up? Can you are are you able to do um? Oh, I can't. I can't. I'm curious if I was if I would be able to fight the um. If I'm able to fight Sir Swoop or not. 
That was high attack slash hide, amazing. You can even eat one during a match to restore both your HP and FP. <laughs> okay, that's the same. For our next battle, we get the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Armored Harriers. Yet a fight to the finish with the Iron Adonis Twins. Let me add him. Yeah, bring him. You ready for a beating? These ultra hard buds just can't lose. Get yourselves ready to battle! <laughs> Gonzalez, let me at him. We're gonna take these punks this time. <laughs> Stink was challenging us again. He never learns. Looks like he brought some new shrimpy partner. As if that's gonna help him. He's a partner move at least once. Ouch! You slightly right rotted the. That totally hurt. Your iron bodies and pointy nastiness are being used against us. No fair. Oh dang, bro! Has he discovered our weak points? Hello. Super guard, bitch. Oh, I almost got both the super guards again. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Do we have to go back to the Myelic bro? I think I'm gonna be sick. Congratulations, Great Gonzalez! With this win, you made it to the major leagues. Now that, folks, was what I call a wild and wooly fight—a diggity dang doozy. Keep it up, kid. You're going places I can tell. Hooey! Come on now, folks. Give it up. We got a major leaguer. Let's hear from him. <laughs> you rank up because you met the conditions. And Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Grubba wishes to see you in his office. Follow me. Yeah, this is gonna be a two-parter. Holy shit, we're only at we're only at two hours, and we've only just gotten to the major leagues. <laughs> Grubba is sus, Mr. Grubba. I brought Mr. Gonzalez as he requested. Miss Jolene, you mind your manners now. We knock around here, Missy. I apologize, Mr. Grubba. Don't you worry your pretty little head about none. What well, what you want again? Something about Gonzalez? Oh yeah! <laughs> Gonzalez, you old so-and-so? Let me congratulate you, son. Major League already, eh? I had a feeling you're going places, and dang, I love it when I'm right. You just keep on putting touches in them seats. I'm counting on you, son. I got a special little something-something for you. Go on, take it. 30 bucks. Yay! So yeah, yeah, something else has been on my mind. Your costume ain't cool. No big deal, son, but hey, someday if you become a champ, I'll get you a new one. Something hot pink, maybe, with some frills or something. You look a sight, son. Anyway, that's something for another day, pod. Take a pod, okay? Mr. Gonzalez, please follow me if you would. Why is the announcer talking in-game sound like Banjo? You know what? He does kind of sound like Banjo, doesn't he? Gaho! Gaho! This is the Major League locker room. You'll use this room from this moment on. The match system is the same as the Minor League, but the bouts are harder. I'm trying to get completely destroyed out there, okay, Mr. Gonzalez? Well, if you'll excuse me, I must be going now.
Love the major leagues, though. It's a, nice, it's a pretty beautiful place. What's the deal? Would it kill these guys to show a little friendly ass? Sheesh. Still the guy coming through? Listen up, losers. I've been here about some rising star tearing up the league. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, you fit the bill, skinny. A mustache named Gonzalez. Man, I come all the way for you. <laughs> what a waste of time, brother. Oh. What's your deal, Gonzalez? Huh? Oh, the champ's belt. What in the? Hey, you get too close to the rocket. You might get rocked. I'm not sure, but it definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. Fake. Hmm. Hey, you think you just smack tack the rock, Hawk? I don't think so. You got some guts calling my belt a fake. You shouldn't be no belt having wimps. Didn't your mama teach you any manners? Oh, sorry, yo, dude. I didn't mean to rip on your big bad belt. Stop making fun of me, punk. You only laugh because we in the ring right now. If I see you under those lights, I'll tear you apart. Remember the rock. Wow, I really pushed that dude's buttons, huh? Hmm. Well, forget him. We got a problem. You're not pointing the glitz feel, right? If that dude's belt has a fake crystal star on it, then where the heck's the real one at? Oh! I got to go to the bathroom again. Cause I was at your mailbox SP going off. Where you get who you get me email from? <gasps> If you want the Crystal Star, need my instructions from X. Who the heck is this X dude? He talks like he's the man to see about the Crystal Star. Why would he want to help us out though? This whole deal seems kind of whack. Gonzalez, even if the belt's a fake, I think we should try to take the championship anyway. It's the best way to find out what's really going on here in the pit. Okie dokie. I do love this music, by the way. This music's pretty frickin' good. <laughs> 